hello and welcome today our topic is viruses so if you want to talk me about the viruses they are in short nuclear protein entity so the topic is viruses so we have viruses this is our topic okay so basically virus is a nuclear protein entity it is a nuclear protein entity that means they are made up of nucleic acid and a protein nucleic acid as a genetic material and protein as a coat which is called a capsid so this thing, this theory was actually developed by Bowden and Pyre, developed by Bowden and you know, Pyre in year 1936. So basically viruses are, virus, if we take one virus, it is a nuclear protein entity. Uh, it is capable of uh, multiplication by taking over cellular machinery of the host cell because it cannot multiply over artificial medium so it uses host cell but without involving growth and division so that means if this is host cell this is host cell now this is virus this is some kind of virus it goes inside cell and uses host machinery so it is a it is a it's it's a virus is a nuclear protein entity taking over cellular machinery of the host for multiplication because it cannot grow on artificial medium but it does not involve growth and division so multiplication involves synthesis of parts followed by their assembly that means viral parts are synthesized they are assembled suppose this is nucleoid this is nucleic acid this is a nucleoid this is a protein so it is a nuclear protein entity this is nucleoid this is protein which is called a capsid so it is a protein this is nucleoid so it is a nuclear nuclear protein entity now what happens inside host cell is that the virus makes synthesis of all the things that it's nucleic acid it synthesizes it is nucleic acid it synthesizes it is capsid after synthesizing or it is requiring requisite material it go on to have what's called assembly that means this nucleic acid is assembled within protein coat so that's what's called the multiplication uh, followed by assembly virus viral diseases they cause diseases so viral diseases have been known since prehistoric times you know uh, smallpox polio broken tulip was a viral disease it was once a rage in europe the disease nasty was also found to be transferable from one variety to another. So, a lot of things. You know, Edward Jenner was a wine scientist in a year. Uh, not, so, it was Edward Jenner who, in a year, uh, that's in 1796, in fact, developed the first successful vaccine against a viral disease called small fox. So, small fox, the disease caused by virus also. Now, then it was Lois Posture in 1880. It was Lois Posture, 1880, who found rabies to be infectious disease. Then it was Aldorf Mayer, who also found that tobacco was a virus disease. Then it was Dimitri Ivansvake, a lot of scientists. Finally, if we think uh, one more scientist, if we go on to take history, M. W. Bejanik, M. W. Bejanik was a scientist who in 1896 very closely uh, called it a living infectious period or contagium vivum periodium. So this scientist may call the virus contagium vivum periodium. Periodium. That means it is a contagious infectious viral fluid. Uh, viral it's, it's, it's living basically in vivo it's a vivo that is living infectious period which causes a lot of diseases meanwhile the term virus had been coined actually by Lois posture 
and uh, you know there is a foot and mouth disease of cattle that's also need to be looked at with a filterable agent by low and frosh yellow fever by reed and fanley and so meporia by popa there are bacteriophages also uh, or bacterial viruses were discovered by Tuot and so many things the term bacteriophage was coined by D. Harrell so it was uh, D. Harrell in year 1970 who coined the term bacteriophage for those viruses which cause infection to bacteria there is a cyanophage discovered by Sepperman Morris Lara many many scientists one more important scientist if you check is Stanley Stanley very important because uh, in 1935 he he crystallized tobacco music virus TMV he crystallized tobacco music virus he was awarded Nobel Prize for this nuclear protein nature of virus was for, for, for the discovery and if, it, if you think the nuclear protein nature of virus was actually discovered by Bowden and Perry studied observed the plant viruses and electronic microscope prior to him uh, there was a scientist uh, Takahashi and Rawlins in 1933 they also discovered the virus under light microscope so virus was first culture or living medium by Ada Anders polio virus in human cells then there was Zander Lederberg who studied transduction. Hair chase found that nuclear pro this protein does not control heredity. In a state nucleic acid genetic material in viruses. There is science law of that protein does not control heredity. This this law of it is called temperate viruses. RNA was found to be genetic material in TMV by Geary and Schramm. Isaac and Lindemann found inf interferons. And these are actually you know, a very important, very important discovering agents. Uh, they are in, found to be formed in response to viral infections. So, there's interferon discovery. Interferon. So, these are those particles which attack viruses. They are found interferons which get formed in response to viral infection. So, it was Isaac and Lindemann, 1957, 57 found interferon. Single stranded DNA was also found to be present in bacteriophage. That's a uh, phage, phage. There's a phi X174 by Arl Sh uh, Shishimir. And uh, there's a retrovirus and reverse transcription were recorded by Tamin and Baltimore. And because reverse transcription is very important, because what do you think is that DNA gives RNA? And this is called transcription. If RNA gives DNA, this would be called reverse transcription. And retroviruses, this is all found by Tamin and Baltimore. The scientist to Lyle Brook, who discovered mutation in viruses. The most uh, mutable virus is HIV, and so that means HIV is the most mutable virus, having a lot of mutations every year. A lot of strains found. It's AIDS virus, then it's followed by influenza virus. So, you have seen so many things related to viruses. Gel discovery is very important now. Depending upon the host, virus can be bacteriophage infecting bacteria, coliophage bacteriophage is Cherchia coli, cyanophage infecting bilirubin algae, phycophage infecting plants, zygomophage and that's on yeast, mycophage on fungi, phytophage in plants, zoophage, animal, a lot of more things. Now, if we take the size, they vary from one to another. Shape is very important. So, for viruses, shape is very, very important. If, 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 if we take the shape of a virus, you can say that uh, it has a lot of changes, in fact. And uh, if, we, if, we take, if we take the shape of a virus, and uh, that's definitely, you know, uh, in shape, viruses are three types, actually. They can be helical virus. So it, we, we have helical. And uh, then we have that is binal and cubidal. So helical virus can be like pseudomonas on that, DMV, pseudomonas, PF. Then second shape is cubidal. So it's a cubidal. Then there's adenovirus, herpes virus. We have third structure that is binal. Binal with polyhedral head and helical tail, the T2 virus. And if you take the classification of viruses, it's also based on genetic material. We have deoxy, deoxy virus. This including DNA genetic material, and uh, there are a lot of shapes. So, on the basis of shapes and the basis of genetic material, 
we have a large number of viruses present. Now we have riboviruses containing RNAs, genetic material, and uh, there are two types, you know, ribohelical and uh, ribocuboidal. So uh, structurally, if we, if we take the structure of a virus, then uh, it can be seen that uh, uh, if we take the structure, which is very important, so structure is very important structure of virus so structurally viruses the virus consists of envelope capsid and nuclear occasionally an enzyme so protoplasm absent there is no energy storing or utilizing machinery motility and irritability are also absent metabolic machinery of the host cell is utilized for synthesis and assembly of viral components uh, while particles are inert outside the host cell in cell free environment the virus is called the virion so in a cell free environment virus is called virion so a lot of examples a lot of you know, these terms are here so if you take the virus can be having envelope so envelope is outer kind of a coat it uh, is an outer thin loose covering present suppose this is a kind of envelope for found in some viruses so envelope is an outer thin loose uh, you know it's, it's a loose uh, covering basically uh, present in certain animal viruses and rarely in plant or bacterial viruses so viruses without an envelope are called naked envelope is composed of both viral especially protein and uh, and host components that's lipid and carbohydrate so envelope can be uh, mostly of protein that is definitely of virus and can be lipid having lipid and carbohydrate but that component comes from the host so first is envelope it's a loose now um, the, without this envelope the virus is called a naked virus so and it has a subunit is called a peplomeres so peplomeres are subunits of this envelope and uh, surface of envelope if you take them is a smooth or, or possess our growth is called spikes so sometimes it has spikes it has spikes sometimes it is smooth and uh, example of envelope virus are HIV herpes virus influenza virus rose sarcoma virus bacterial phage pseudomonas 2 pm2 potato yellow dwarf virus now second part that is important presently in every virus is the what is called the capsid so it's a protein coat actually only protein coat this is capsid it is protein coat of virus which is made for protecting uh you know it's, it's for protecting this uh, virus you know it actually it actually protects nucleoid so we have nucleoid it protects nucleoid this is you know, this is a uh, capsid it protects nucleoid and enzymes are present if they are present Capsid is made of identical protein subunits. They are called uh, uh, capsomeres. So second, which is called uh, capsid, has units called uh, capsomeres. So these are units like papillomeres, units of envelope. Capsomeres are units of uh, what is called capsid. Okay. The number and arrangement of capsomeres are specific for each virus. Minimum number is 12 for phage X174. TMV has uh, 2130. TMV has 2130. These capsomeres. Okay, it's a fixed. So, uh, capsid possesses antigenic properties. So, this is second. Now, third, third part is what's called the important part. And that's nucleoid. So, this is the main point. That's nucleoid. So, we have three envelope capsid and nucleoid present in virus. This is nucleoid. This is capsid. This is envelope. Now taking nucleoid this is the nucleic acid core of virus. Nucleic acid may be linear, spirally twisted or coiled, virusly circular, cyclic, whatever. Nucleoid is in fact two part of virus. It can be double stranded DNA, single stranded DNA, single stranded RNA, double stranded RNA. So so in a lot of shapes like it can be a double stranded DNA, uh, adenovirus, herpes virus, simplex virus. Ox virus, cauliflower, mosaic virus, cauliflower, lambda, T4, linear virus. These are examples of 
this uh, double stranded DNA. We have hepatitis virus, that's B, hepatitis B, semia virus, SP40, polyoma, circular or cyclic. Then we have single stranded DNA, single stranded DNA virus. Uh, even a lot of examples like polio virus, it's uh, no, no, not polio, it's in fact a uh, coliphage MS2, coliphage abridus linear one. Then this is virus and the influenza virus, rho sarcoma virus, it is true. Uh, so if we, if we take the example of sub, sub, that was this single citron DNA, that is coliphage MS2, coliphage every linear, coliphage 5x170 per cyclic. Now third, that is single citron RNA, most viruses, you know polio virus is here, that is example foot and uh, mouth, and this is virus, influenza virus, rose sarcoma virus, retrovirus, turnip uh, yellow mosaic virus, tobacco mosaic virus, uh, this uh virus so uh there is a necrosis virus tmv potato mosaic virus bean mosaic virus all linear ss uh, a single stranded rna is of two types in fact there's a negative stranded rna and positive stranded rna viruses so they can be retroviruses virus bro mosaic virus and influenza virus rna viruses occur in fragmented form then we have double stranded rna or we can say d double stranded rna virus these are real viruses bone tumor virus all linear and uh, you know retrovirus including HIV have single certain RNA but the same occurs in duplicate so that the proteins are deployed and then there is a one more part of this that is enzyme sometimes present they are occasional and occur for specific function for example lysozyme in bacteriophage transcriptase in vaccine virus RNA vaccinia virus transcript is in vaccinia virus then we have RNA polymerase RNA transcript is reverse transcript is in retroviruses neuroamine days in influenza viruses etc so these are sometimes present it's not that they are necessarily present but the most essential part is it present in every virus and without that there is the virus is not a virus is the capsid and nucleo nucleus so nuclear protein nature that's nuclear protein entity is the basic part of virus Envelope is present in some, enzyme is present in some, but capsid and nucleus is present in every wire. Now uh, there is a term called a cryptogram. There is a term called a cryptogram. You know, uh, if we if we there is a term called a cryptogram. Cryptogram. Now a cryptogram is a is a symbolic representation of virus traits of viruses which are. Uh, it's a very straight of virus which are proposed by Gibbs et al. in 1966. So it was actually uh, Gibbs et al. in 1966. They proposed it adopted by ICNV. A cryptogram has four pairs. There's nucleic acid, nucleic acid type. So it can be D or R divided by number of strands. So this is one and uh, then we have molecular weight so then we have molecular weight in millions a percentage of nucleic acid of total particle then uh, we have uh, what is what is called uh, you know there's outline of particle like s e x complex outline nuclide like that and uh, these three important characters of viruses so then we have outline of particle so this 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 parallel is called a cryptogram now for example if we if we take example of virus suppose there is a influenza virus example of influenza virus you know this influenza virus it's a mixed virus influenza rna one strand then molecular weight there's two to three oblique ten there's outline s oblique e v oblique o so this is a cryptogram for this virus likewise we have so many then we have viral reproduction you know uh, viral reproduction is very important so this is viral reproduction so let's take viral reproduction so that can be in a short like this we have viral reproduction so we have viral 
reproduction. Now, viruses, it is divisible into infectious phase, eclipse phase, maturation phase, and lysis. So, we have infectious phase, then followed by eclipse phase, followed by maturation phase, followed by lysis. Okay, so uh, these are the things. Now, if we take the lytic cycle, so we have actually three cycles, lytic, lysogenic and pinocytic reproduction. So first is lytic cycle. So in lytic cycle, what happens is that so T4 bacteriophage is a binary virus which attacks the cytokine of bacterium, E. churchia coli, this is E. coli bacteria. Now it is attacked by T4 bacteriophage, suppose this is T4 bacteriophage. Now, it attacks the Cistercia coli by its tail fibers. The lysozyme creates a hole in the host cell. The tail sheath contracts and ejects the viral chromosome into bacterium. So, the chromosome enters into bacterium. Viral DNA controls the metabolic machinery of the host. It produces nucleases. Nucleases degrade DNA and mRNA of the host. Viral DNA is not affected as it is cyto seen bases are methylated so since viruses have virus has its bases methylated they are not attacked only and the other the bases of each other are attacked so uh, because of methylation this is very important Methyli methylation makes them their their protection so uh, no, they are not affected. It's based, the cytosine bases are not affected because they are methylated, hydroxymethylated cytosine or HMC. What's exactly called a HMC? Hydro, uh, hydroxymethylated cytosine. Number of copies of viral DNA are produced followed by synthesis of capsid proteins, polyaminase and lysozyme. The component is assembled in form of phage particle and virus. The host cell ruptures to release so many viral particles. So host cell raptures this is what is called a light cycle we have second cycle which is called lysogenic cycle so lysogenic cycle is that lambda fudge so it's a lambda fudge actually which uh, attacks e coli so lambda fudge attacks e coli by means of stale which produces hole in the host wall and ejects dna into the host Phage DNA produces repressor. So here, this phage DNA produces produces a repressor, C1 repressor. This becomes non-virulent or temperate. So it is a non-virulent or temperate because it is lysogenic cycle. Now this C1 repressor makes and it attaches to the bacterial chromosome at a specific site. So, if this is a bacterial DNA, the C1 repressor of the virus gets attached at a specific site. For example, a galactose locus in phage phage. So, it is a galactose locus on this where it gets attached to this C1 repressor by means of enzyme integrase. So, integrase enzyme helps this fixing. The viral chromosome, the viral genome is now called prophage or provirus. It multiplies along with bacterial genome and is passed on to the progeny. So it passes to progeny. No lysis happens. The host cell is called lysogenic cell. Occasionally the synthesis of repressor is stopped due to UV radiation or chemical factor. The temperature non-virulent phase is now changed to lytic or virulent phase. So time sometimes occasionally this C1 repressor is stopped because of UV or some other inhibitor. When it is stopped, the repressor does not get synthesized or fixed. The virus changes from lysogenic to lytic cycle. The single stranded DNA of phage X174 or polyphage FD is known as flush strand. It forms its complementary or negative strand. The double strand uh, or replicative strand. DNA takes over the metabolic machine of the host to synthesize plus strand DNA and protein for the assembly of new phages. This is lysogenic cycle. We have one more kind of reproduction in, in virus and 
that's third one is pinocytic reproduction so we have pinocytic reproduction here the whole virus whole virus enters the host cell except the envelope it's quite common in rna viruses which are of two types rna rna virus rna rna virus and rna dna virus here in case of this RNA, RNA virus, DNA has no role in their multiplication. After entering the host cell, the virus produces enzyme called replicase, which helps in producing more genetic RNA over the template, template of parent RNA genome. The later also produces mRNA for synthesis of viral protein. In case of second type, that is called uh, RNA DNA virus, they are called retroviruses this stemin 1970 tumor cancer virus hiv etc viruses possess enzyme reverse transcriptase the stem in baltimore has discovered it rho sarcoma virus or rsv or mouse enzyme builds dna over rna genome the phenomenon is called a reverse transcription or teminism so it is reverse transcription or teminism teminism okay so, uh, the copy of DNA or cDNA builds its complementary strand. The double stranded copy uh, DNA attaches to the host by chromosome and now called a provirus. This is called a provirus. It produces chemicals which disturb the cellular machinery. The cell with the provirus may de differentiate and start dividing, leading to the cancer, uncontrolled growth, forming tumor which sends branches by roots to invade different parts. Some 20 viral oncogenes, some 20 viral oncogenes, that is genes that trigger cancer, have been dis recorded. However, no virus has been definitely proved to cause cancer in humans. Humans have some proto oncogenes. So, humans have proto oncogenes similar to viral oncogenes which take part in growth but under certain circumstances they get changed to cellular oncogenes they get converted to cellular oncogenes we have one more there is jumping genes or transposons so we have jumping genes or transposons transposons they also cause uh, cancer there are a number of chemicals physical factors some viruses hepatitis b herpes papilloma Epstein Barr virus which promote cancer. HIV human immunodeficiency virus destroys the immune system of body and causes AIDS. The provirus ultimately associates transcriptus viral RNA genome, produces a worse transcriptus and viral protein. Different parts assemble to form retroviruses. The later comes out uh, through exocytosis or in, in the spinocytosis, the virus comes out through uh, exocytosis or pass out the other through protoplasmic connection. So if we have another cell virus can pass through protoplasmic connection or it simply comes out of this cell by means of what is called uh, this exocytosis so this all is called pinocytic reproduction in viruses now if we go on to take some important diseases in viruses there are a lot of many diseases in viruses and uh, very importantly can be taken so uh, if we take them so we can see some uh, diseases now diseases can be taken now viral disease you know if, if we take uh, for example for plants then for animals for example for plants we have potato mosaic potato mosaic disease we have pumpkin mosaic, we have apple mosaic, we have tulip mosaic, broken tulip, wheat mosaic, streak, bindi yellow, vedi, vein mosaic, potato leaf roll, tobacco leaf curl, papaya leaf curl, banana, bunchy top, tomato bunchy top, rice uh, tangro, and so many. In, in Likewise, we have for animals, there are diseases, so many, like foot and mouth disease, equine encephalitis, render pest, Kiasa nor forest disease of animals, uh, monkey for example, humans uh, and humans, Newcastle or rainy kheta fowl, the viral disease, this is for animals. Now if we take, uh, 
uh, separately for for example for human beings human beings uh, there are chicken pox small pox we have measles german measles mumps polio rabies hepatitis dengue uh, encephalitis aids common cold flu some gastrointestinal disease yellow fever herpes sars or severe acute respiratory syndrome this corona rna virus similar to one that causes cold we have bird flu avian influenza which occurs in humans as well now transmission why is it transmitted by seeds rhizomes uh, agricultural implements soil feces contaminated food water close contact sputum animal vectors for example aphid hooper mosquito mites ticks and uh, it was as as i said two were discovered bacteriophages d had a quite another term bacteriophage there are a lot of things like we have viroid discovered by denier in 1971 are in a particle devoid of protein coat which is obligate parasite potatospindle there's a viroid we have prions nobel prize given for prusiner for them their discovery we have virusoids so virusoids actually satellite rna they are they are similar to viruses but they require you know assistance of a helper virus and all that what i said there's viroid prion and virusoid have already been discussed in separate video on this channel you can watch that also now this is this is uh, all about uh, importantly for viruses different things of viruses so in short you you studied that is a nuclear protein entity having lot of more of reproduction lot of things you know of multiplication and then having cryptogram having different nucleic acids different strands different particles and all that so this is all for viruses now finally as usual big big that's thank you for watching this video